Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with a Škoda T50. Last time we had video with this tank it was like 10 months ago or so. So why the heck not to play with this vehicle once again fellas. And um, since equipment change and, and everything you can have a um, more quirky setup on this vehicle. If back in the day you could play with this vehicle with ventilation, uh, stabilizer and optics. Nowadays, fellas, there is alternative option. As an example, if you have a decent crew to put the view range up to your uh, respectable amount, which is well, for majority of the people 445 meters or 440 meters or something, right? Uh, then this setup is uh, right for you, especially if you have three, four skill screw, you are going to boost it up to 460 meters or so, right? So it's going to be already very very nice so uh skoda overall as a tank it's quite uh, in my opinion it is amazing tank it's one of the best tanks out there uh, i love this tank with all my heart right and how you are playing with this tank it's quite simple you are and after that after 20 seconds when you are reloading and once again running away, right? This is how you are playing with this vehicle and it is amazing tank. Honestly, this is one of the better tanks and it's very debatable which tank is better. Is it Škoda or is it the uh, standard B, right? So it depends obviously on you. I like them both. Anyways, without further ado, without talking too much, let's go into the battle and let's try to play for four um, to five thousand combined. It would be uh, my goal, but everything is depending on the luck and so on, so on. Also, quick tip and hint, if you do not have camo skills trained, use the camo um, directive and you will have pretty much free skill for yourself, free camo. Easy peasy lemon squeezy fellas, keep this in mind. So, the first battle which we are having there is going to be... Um, the first battle is the bloody overlord, the jumping map, map for jump addicts, right? Um, also, what is the plan for us? For us, the plan is to play somewhere around this area and hopefully we can find someone making one or another stupidity as an example. Uh, but chat Leo STB doesn't really matter. If someone is going to make a mistake, we will make sure to punish them, right? Uh, obviously, alternative option. Maybe I'm going for alternative option. Alternative option is to take this position here and punish people, which is actually just going up here and you know what i think i'm going for alternative option after that we will make another decision what to do but this is going to be our start so let's do this with this tank you can find early damage late game damage and everything uh, it's just it's just perfect combination of the things in my opinion obviously the worst thing of all this there are some jeffs but that's completely fine let's see do we have someone over there? By the looks of it, we don't. Uh, and I am spotted. What that means? That means I'm going for a blind shot there, couple of the blind shots, and I'm running away. Obviously, meanwhile, Jeff managed to um, get the right shot for us, but that's completely fine, fellas. It is completely fine. Now we are running away. I decided to go for a couple of the blinds, and after the battle, obviously, we will see did we manage to hit them successfully or not so much. Time will show everything. Anyways, what do we have here? We have the standard B, which is being greedy, greedy, greedy mosquito. So, how we can find the right angle for the standard B without sacrificing all our HP? This is the main question, my friends. This is the main question. Okay, how about we are picking here to check it out who is living on the corner. And obviously standard B is there, but standard B manager to spot us, which is definitely not the thing what we are looking for. Um, but you know what? Once again, I have a plan, I have idea, I have a vision. So skill, what is your vision? My vision is to go like this and simply try to punish this guy without even asking his name. How we are going to deal with the situation? I'm waiting until the Emil will pull back because Emil should pull back and now what we are going to do we are going to go pir 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 like this and we have the standard beer idea one for the team and two for the team he's dead i'm gone 
beautiful we managed to eliminate this guy from the game and now we are running before the jeffs actually managed to smack us in the head also i don't know did you notice it but light tank has 600 hp less so there is a chance we shot the light tank with a uh, with some blind shots that would be the best thing ever but obviously only time can uh, tell us that right and once again this map is definitely not favored by um many many players and i can understand why this map is not their favorite right it is kind of a annoying map to play in a way right but what is going to be our goal here our goal is going to be to wait until the leo will decide to make a pressure like this because he should do that and if he is going for it we are going to smack him once or twice right that's the main plan that's the main hope and that's the main dream although as you can see leo one is getting already slaughtered by our guys here although fellas don't panic too much life is beautiful and as you can see stv is 7 conqueror and others are thinking about making a bit of pressure in this way so if they are going to do that i believe fellas we should have a very 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 decent angle here uh, especially for stb1 now the question is stb1 is uh, is crazy enough to go like this or not really and stb is pushing in front that's exactly what we need and what do we have and we have one and we have two and uh, luckily for him he managed to escape without taking the third one for the team but once again that's completely fine meanwhile stb is going to be there fellas so keep this in mind he is going to be there hmm okay how about the right angle for the um ml2 hmm I don't really like what this ML2 is doing. You know what? The question is how many HP the Mr. Conqueror has. Because by the looks of it, if I need to bet, I would say the Conqueror might try to make a pressure like this, right? So if Conqueror is making pressure like this, we should be able to uh, pew 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 him. Mm -hmm. Conqueror is right here. That's very, very good. And he is thinking about making pressure once again. So this is exactly what we are looking for. Now I will take one for the team. But... Oi, oi. Oi, oi, buddy. Oi, oi. Beautiful, fellas. Such a great performance. I mean, this is a pure luck. But hey, I'm not complaining about luck. I am not complaining about luck, my friends. So, Conqueror is dead. What do we want to do now? Now we are going for the IS-7 and STB. That's very, very important. First of all, probably we will try to clip the STB out, right? And after that, we will deal with IS-7 if obviously it's possible. Skill, your team is melting like ice cream in the summertime. I'm extremely aware of that, but in the same time, I know I cannot do shit about this, right? I'm very, very, very well aware of that. Not every single game can be epic and not every single game can be the best, fellas. So keep this in mind. What do we have here? We have STB, which is thinking about making pressure for us. Dubai, high roll. No, doesn't really matter because we are going for Ram and he is dead. Nice. What do we have now? We have IS-7, which is eliminating us from the game. But once again, I'm feeling Gucci. Fellas, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen this is a good performance for us um what do i mean by saying this is a good performance look in the world of tanks um 15 to uh, 5 simulator this is a great battle we definitely carried our weight and i have a feeling we should have a blind shots for uh ruski light tank okay call me dirty but that's what i think we have 3.2 thousand visible uh which is not the which is not the best performance by any means speaking about combined we have 3.8 thousand which is completely fine and all we need to do we need to witness this guy getting banged without loop once again I wish to say um, a lot of a lot of games could be uh, uh, careable, a lot of games could be... Um we could deal with a lot of games, right? Unfortunately, it's not the case. Uh, we are living in 2021, my friends, and unfortunately, uh, this is World of Tanks Blitz nowadays, right? So, yeah, games are quick, and uh, usually they are not very balanced. So, yeah, we just need to adapt to that. We need to do whatever we can uh, in order to 
simply go through this and one day maybe the things will change maybe i have i have call me optimist fellas but i have this hope in deep in my heart right so remember i said we hit couple of the blind shots to the ruski light tank we did we hit him for 650 damage so in the end of the day we have 3.8 thousand damage we have 800 assisting damage and we have bloody kamikaze which is always nice so look at this team fellas top by the damage um top by experience by quite a big uh, margin speaking about experience and we had quite a bit of forces which pretty much refused to play the game but once again it's understandable uh, because uh, uh, they can be new players in the game they might play the game at work and maybe their boss called them and they simply clicked uh, uh, three times there maybe their wife came back from the job and they and they are not allowed to play the game when their wife is at home and so on so on you never know what kind of situations uh, people is having so uh, it doesn't matter if the person is dealing bad or good um still uh, he is a person right and if he is not as an example very good in world of tanks uh, maybe he is the bloody scientist and he is good in other things so keep uh, so treat people with respect my lovely friends this is very very important thing Okay, what do we have here? We have a few a pure tier 9 matchmaking, only one Jeff, which is always nice. We are going into the middle and we will try to deal with the T49s. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, let's do this. Let's do this, fellas. Hmm. The main plan and the main dream, which might happen here, fellas, enemy light tanks, we we uh, will try to go on top of the hill so keep this in mind fellas keep this in mind not initially what i want but um you know we'll see and they are going for it nope one guy stopped the 39 is going on top of the hill the t49 did not penetrate him but he stopped him and 39 is going to get uh, slaughtered he's thinking oh i am going on top of the hill i'm almost there and kaboom Beautiful, this guy is dead, another guy is trying to go on top of the hill and he is getting clipped out, that's it, game over for him. Okay, so, um, speaking about the start, by the looks of it, my lovely friends, enemy team is going to suck a massive PP, right? Uh, what do I mean by saying that is a lot of, a lot of, a lot of enemy forces just died here for free, so uh, this is definitely not very, very good for them. I can guarantee you that, that's not very good for them. So... Uh, what is the goal now? Can we spot anyone here? This is the question. We cannot spot anyone. Let's try to go a bit up like this. Do they have anyone here? No, they don't. Hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting, fellas. By the looks of it, fellas, enemy team uh, pretty much have no team. Enemy team have no team. This is the hardest way how to figure out to do the things when enemy team is completely melting, right? Um, and unfortunately, it's not very, very clear what the flying gap is supposed to do. Although I figured it out the way already. Skill, do you see the C75? Yes, sir, I do. So what that means? That means go aside and clip him out. Minus 1000 damage for E75. And um, it's going to be very, very good thing for us. So let's see. Even though he's safe, it's not changing anything for now, fellas. It doesn't matter he is safe because soon he is not going to be so what do we have here we have the 257 which is looking for me i don't really care about that and we are going to go for the full clip plus this guy is kind of clueless he is on the deep sniper schnitzel mode so it's always nice to see that right it's called the um, uh, 25 times zoom when you don't see what is happening around you and when uh, you are aiming just simply ahead right this is exactly how the things is looking like so what do we want to do we want to cross like like this we want to eliminate this guy from the game and now we want to uh, pretty much clip the conqueror especially when conqueror just shot conqueror is not very happy and we are feeling extremely well with this clip right we are on the 2.3 thousand damage already and um, after this uh, reload we are going to eliminate this guy or maybe this guy we'll see time will show everything all we need to do right here we need to be a bit patient four seconds three seconds two seconds he's down to one shotable he is down to the garage and in the same time this guy is down to the garage in a second too beautiful okay 
uh, we have to win the magazine and we have the Vazar idea. So the question is, was I sitting here on the corner or was I not sitting here on the corner? That's the question. I don't really think it's making too much difference. So I'm making so much more pressure here because our heroes will join us. At least they should join us. And what do we have? We have a victim which is saying skill kill me. Um, we killed him exactly. Beautiful. Also, there is a T10 heavy tank which is sniping from the back, but I don't really care about this. Even though this guy might might hit me in the face although his uh, awareness is not the best one so i'm just simply chilling here four three two one uh, going for the lower plate shots one for the team two for the team and can we get the three for the team i don't really think so it's okay let it be now we need to pull back a bit so we are safe from the vaza and we are safe from the t10 beautiful this is exactly what we want to see fellas this is exactly what we want to see so whenever this vaza is going to die we can actually start playing our battle, fellas. Whenever this guy is going to die, we can actually start playing our game. Uh, meanwhile, a max start is right here, which I don't really care about. And now we can simply make a bit of pressure right here, right? Uh, meanwhile, we know Esterva is sniping from the back. And uh, in the same time, this mother trucker is looking at us, right? So that's probably not the smartest uh, um, way to make a pressure. But you know what? I am still feeling extremely, extremely well with this. Because this guy is going to die for a T30 in a second. T30 is on his back. T30 should be able to eliminate him from the game. And now we need Need to figure out how to approach the bushwankers which is playing right here right as starway is here that's completely fine even though he hit us i don't really care too much about that right and how we are going to approach the enemy team we know we are all enemies are apart the jeff uh, but once again it is completely fine fellas uh, so we are thinking about going up like this and clipping this t10 if obviously it's possible that's very very important so let's see can we do this or not t10 is right here he is hiding behind the um behind the building uh, which is definitely well not behind the building sorry behind the rock but that's completely fine i'm trying to clip him out and he is looking at me so i'm dead yeah it's okay it's okay uh greed has got the best out of me fellas um maybe i could play a bit more safer but i had a plan right my plan was to simply go here um, and then we we have a bit of the cover from the Estereva or alternatively from the T10. But once again, not bad performance whatsoever. Let's teleport into the third battle. And fellas, even though you can see the games which we are having, we are we are not playing ideally. Okay, my my gears in my brain is. Uh, they need some oil or kebab, one out of two. Either way, let's teleport into the other battle and let's see what we can do in the other game, fellas. Kaboom. Okay, that took a bit shorter than I initially thought. I thought it's going to take minutes to finish the game, but uh, by the looks of it, 10 seconds and we was gone. But fellas, I saved 10 seconds for you, so please, everything is fine. And uh, for a person which is spending his uh, uh, time in the toilet, I mean, in this time you could uh, even wipe your... Just saying. Okay, beautiful, fellas. Beautiful. So... What do we have here? In the end of the day, I would say this is that was a great game. We got the second class. We have 3.7 thousand damage, 250 assisting damage. We are second by experience and we are second by the damage, which is completely fine. Uh, and we are making a bit of the profits there and there, which is always welcome and always good. So let's go for a third battle. So far, our average performance is 3.8 thousand damage and 500 assisting damage. And I'm fully happy with, uh, with the current session, right? It's definitely not. Uh, bad whatsoever and for a third battle we are getting the tier 9 matchmaking once again against the two jeffs which is uh, which can be uh, quite a bit of problem but it's completely fine so what the flying jeff we supposed to do here plenty of medium tanks a bit of the heaviest jeffs light tanks hmm this is going to be a tricky one because if we are going to meet the lemming train in the um, 890 line it's going to be extremely extremely bad thing for us so i am i am a bit paranoid of this fellas i'm a bit paranoid about that line since we do not have too much of the gun depression or anything right so i am not going there um we'll see maybe we can um, go somewhere over there and simply clip uh, uh clip the heavy tank which is going like this what do you think about that 
What do you think about that? STI, kaboom, made me pregnant. Boom, pregnant. Okay, beautiful. So, the question is, do they have any light tanks which is giving yearly information for the enemy team? Which is very, very important if you would ask me. The question is, do they have anyone here or not really? And speaking about the not really fellas, there is Gusor which is getting slaughtered. Gusor made um, a very, very bad decision and he is dead. From the first clip, we, ma we managed to get, uh, um, we managed to get um, 33 damage, which is once again not ideal, but that's completely fine. And now, fellas, we are right there. So, this is the position where we kind of want to play, right? I want to see the heavy tanks, I want to see the turtles, which is moving like this, and we are simply banging them, right? This is the first um, semi-clip, which is completely fine by me, fellas, if you would ask me, so all Gucci. Also, once again, all we need to do, we need to um, see the heavy tanks, which is crossing, right? Once again, the most important part of this battle. The most important part of this battle, if obviously we can spot them. Also keep this in mind that Tortoise might be on the full mode. And if that's going to be the case, he might try to make a bit of more pressure for us. So keep this in mind. Although the standard B is thinking about making, uh, uh, making a hardcore pressure for us in this way, which is completely fine. Meanwhile, Tortoise, unfortunately, I did not manage to penetrate him, but that's okay. He just derped his shot, and this is exactly what we needed. Although I'm, uh, I'm failing at driving, so not much what I can do about this. Can we penetrate him here? No, we cannot. Okay, fair enough. So, what do we have here? Now pay attention to this information. This is very, very important, fellas. How we can get some use of all this. As you can see, boys and girls, ladies and gents, enemies have quite a bit of forces which is playing right here, right? So what I want to do and what is my main mission? My main mission is to get the hell out away from here. The Type 61, Tortoise, everyone. They had so many forces here, fellas. This is actually mind-blowing for me. So what we are doing, we are simply running away for our life um honestly i thought they are going to have a lemming train there but as you can see it's not the case uh, can i complain about this yeah to be fair with you not really i could imagine that i needed to be more brave and i needed to use my balls instead of using brain uh sometimes it happens fellas um, sometimes you know i am saying i should do all the way around i should use my brain instead of using balls but in this kind of situation that's definitely not the case so um um, what we are going to do now, from this position we will try to find a great angle for the uh, enemy light tank AMX 1390, right? Because our Kapazander is making pressure like this and our 3090 is going in front like this too, so it should be fine. Um, 3090 is thinking he is safe, but reality is a bit uh, different, he is uh, getting banged from the sides, which is completely understandable, and he is dead. Although, fellas, keep this in mind. Um, Keep this in mind, fellas. Uh, our heavy tanks uh, is completely falling in this uh, in this situation and in this matchup, right? Once again, enemies did everything what they physically and possibly could in order to uh, counter the heavy line, right? So once again, we cannot complain too much about this fate and about this situation. Uh, this position is very, very great, fellas. Um, now, if enemies will try to go for a base defense, we are going to have a very, very nice angle for them. And all we need to do, we need to be patient here. Patience is going to be very, very important. I even could go a bit here because it's even safer situation because we will have a house. Um, we will have a house to uh, hide if someone is going to spot us. So let's be safe instead of be saying sorry afterwards, right? So, relax, take it easy, Mr. Tortoise is making pressure, that's okay, not a big deal. And this is probably the trickiest battle which we had so far because of my fail against the Tortoise. After the first clip I needed to escape immediately, probably that's what have I done wrong, but it's okay, it happens. Mistakes can happen, my friends. IS-3 is safe? Hmm. IS-3 is safe here, interesting. Very, very, very interesting battle. Fellas, I dig this game, truly. When we need to use our brain, uh, when we need to figure out what do we want to do, uh, this is always nice and always welcome, in my opinion. The first shot was a miss, but once again, bad aim. It happens sometimes. Uh, so, 
how about this layer 20 seconds actually to be exact 10 seconds and this layer is going to get completely slaughtered right this is exactly what we want to see he is moving through the open field he stopped for a second to aim and that's a mistake he is dead nice excellent so our tor uh, our guy is uh, struggling against the tortoise but he managed to eliminate him from the game so that's the most important thing beautiful so now we know all guys is sitting around this area that's what we know right but in the same time we cannot be too aggressive here because we would finish the battle very very badly although if you would pay attention there what the fuck is happening you would notice the standard b is shooting high explosives what that means that means he made a very very big fat mistake fellas that means he made a very big fat mistake so what we want to do we want to eliminate this guy from the game before it's too late right even though he could potentially um penetrate us with high explosives i really doubt it's going to be the case and i'm getting spotted wow wow wee, wow 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 i see i see the is3 is sitting somewhere over there they have no jeff so that's kind of fine although i did not really do, um, i did not really wanted to take one for the team right there but it happens fellas it definitely happens so hmm a hard battle very 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 hard battle my friends how we can deal with this mother tracker huh how we can deal with this mother tracker we have the guy which is making a pressure like this very good i'm trying to be safe it is okay our jeffs should be able to eliminate him from the game without bigger problems whatsoever wait for it oi 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 autoloader oi oi okay fair enough so that was a very very nice thing to be fair with you two guys made a hardcore pressure and overall enemies by the looks of it they started to make a pressure for this side because it was weaker so our tortoise which is waiting with a full hp and our type 61 is going to have even harder time that's okay fails is happening and unfortunately the third battle wasn't the best um what have i done wrong i tried to experiment in this battle and i tried to go into the city and they definitely did not pay off would i try that once again sure thing um but i would try to be a bit uh, smarter right uh, that's very very important anyways fellas this is the third game which was uh, a bit of the disappointment but once again fails is happening and it's okay i'm happy with the two games and we will pretend the third game will never ever existed so everything is fine fellas boys and girls ladies and gentlemen after two games we had uh, after two games we had 3.8 thousand damage 500 assisting damage and third battle never existed so uh, everything is fine thank you very much for watching that was your daily dose of skill and see you very very soon skill is out peace